Well, sending your kid back to school can cost some money. We all know that. It could be school supplies, maybe even a fresh haircut. Today, one local business helped out by offering both of those for free. Here's Chris Rosado. Well, you know, they, they say it's a high crime area. We do have a lot of little, you know, activities going on, but you know, one cut at a time, baby. This is cutting out the violence. Having spent 10 years in North Baton Rouge, Felton Henderson knows all too well what can come from growing up in this neighborhood. You know, some of the generation, they kind of too far gone, but, the, you know, the younger kids get a chance to, you know, dissect the problem, I guess. <laughs> With schools starting back up this week, for the day, he and a few of his fellow barbers, with the financial backing of some local organizations, are giving away free haircuts and school supplies to kids in need. For these guys, it's not just a way to give back, but a chance to reach these kids early and keep them away from the wrong crowd. I basically moved, got around, got away from the crowd of people I was around, and it's been up from there. It's taken the last three years for 26-year-old Sean White to get his life together through his passion with cutting hair. Today we're just giving them free back to school cuts, trying to give, kind of giving back to the community. As I'm asking them what sports they play, stuff like that, getting them a little bit more motivated for to play sports and stuff because it'll keep them out of trouble. He hopes kids will listen when he tells them how easily you can go from being a college athlete one day to being in prison the next. When I was young in that age, I wasn't. I was still an athlete. But I was still like getting in trouble, fighting and stuff like that. I wish I would have had an opportunity for somebody to be able to talk to me, like kind of give me advice and guide me like from different points of views than what I was already living. Other business leaders collaborated with Snippets Barbershop to get involved and send some people in need their way. Myself personally, we're an advertising marketing company. Um, all of the, these are all my clients and these are all individuals and we work a lot with businesses. And so what we try to do is bring the business community together, which are stakeholders, direct stakeholders in the community to start making a difference. Community leaders taking initiative in their own neighborhoods hope their efforts lead to big changes. Chris Rosado, WAFB, 9 News. Great stuff there, Chris. Thank you. Hey, the first group.